Nigeria's government has set up an inter-ministerial panel to investigate rampant building collapses in the country. Recent collapses in the commercial capital of Lagos, in which dozens were killed, have, of course have triggered this investigation. CGTN's Kelechi Mikalam has more. Emergency rescue workers in search of survivors at a construction site in the capital, Abuja. More than a dozen construction workers are believed to be trapped under the rubble. It's a common sight across Nigeria, buildings collapsing under their weight and killing dozens. And quite a number of investigations are abandoned along the way. But the government now wants to change that. Triggered by recent deaths in building collapses in commercial capital Lagos, the government now wants every incident investigated to the very end. And findings would be used to develop a more robust regulatory policy to avoid building collapses. Every uh, building collapse should be investigated because there must be some information that we we'll learn that may be unique yes, and I can help us in making sure that we stop any future reoccurrence. So we, uh, we are very hopeful that what we are doing today will help to secure human life and also protect our environment. Nigeria already has existing regulations to prevent building collapses and they include mandatory inspections of construction sites by qualified construction engineers from government. The job is to ensure construction design is safe and construction materials are not substandard. But still, building collapses have not been checked enough. Rotimi Fasa has spent the past 15 years rebuilding, redesigning and sometimes reinforcing defective structures. Government needs to sit up. We have to look at the ISO and need to work on this, all the substandard qualities of materials that we have that comes in into our sites. In the past four years, Nigeria has recorded about 60 building collapses. In March alone, there were three known cases in the commercial capital, Lagos. The committee has two weeks to come up with recommendations on how to stop building collapses. But even as they embark on investigations, many in the construction sector believe a lot could be achieved if only government enforced existing guidelines. Kelechi Mekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.